most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i am here with a quarantine meal because i'm up in this house <clears throat> yeah so i'm up here frying some bacon and what's going inside this bacon is uh the cabbage i'm making cabbage pork chops and gravy over rice Yes, y'all. I want that to get too done. Just chop me up some cabbage and wash it like this. Now I'm throwing it over here. And after that, I'm going to pour some chicken broth over in it. Turn it on low, let it do what it do. About to season it. Stay tuned for the next step. What's up, love muffins? I wanted to share something with y'all. I shared this on my community post. And I shared it on my Facebook page. Um, when Tina went to sleep last night, she got in the bed with me. And I woke up to hearing her Bible app. She had her Bible app on all night. And she said, Mama, I didn't put this on. Uh, she said, automatically, my um, when I turned to my Bible app, it went to Isaiah 26 and 20. She said she didn't put it on there. But it reads Isaiah 26 and 20. Go into your house, my people, and shut the door behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until God's anger is over. Okay. Then it went on to say, well, that's not scripture, but it says, so please listen to your leaders and stay home and call on the name of Jesus. Y'all, this is getting more real and real each day. Now, as I looked on, I went to go share it on Facebook when I listened to what Tina had told me. I went to share it on Facebook or whatever. And um, it's not a coincidence that everybody had shared that same scripture, you all. It's not a coincidence that that scripture just popped up, you know. Um, that's God's talking to us. God is talking to us. Not God's talking to us. God is talking to us. And... We've been sending out these prayers. And sometimes I'm, I'm talking to the saints of God now. We've been sending up these prayers and making our request known and our petition known to God. And he's answering our prayer. If y'all sit still and pay attention. He's just simply telling us right here <clears throat> to just stay in the house because God is angry. God is angry. He tired of everybody doing their own thing. He going to get your attention one way or another. And think about it. This is the last days and times. So he calling all the backsliders home. What other way to get the backsliders home, y'all? It gives you time to get every and every, any and everything that's right that may be in your heart that you've been uh, maybe holding against. Maybe that some type of uh, uh, a sin, all sin is the same, but some type of sin that you was doing to get that right with God, get it right with your loved ones, um, bond, rebond with your family. Um, a lot of things God is doing to get our attention. And, and, and main thing is he wants our focus on him, y'all. And I, I don't see, you know, I don't, I don't, I guess, I guess, you know, it's, it's to the lost, you know, the ones that don't understand, the ones that are not in the church. I guess they would be scared and panicked. But for the saints of God, we shouldn't be panicking because um, he told us that these times would come. 
when he said all these signs and you're gonna see signs and wonders and wars rumors of wars and plagues and everything and he said marvel not though because it, your, your redemption draws nigh. I mean, meaning it's, time, it's closer and closer to the rapture, y'all. And all God is doing is simply getting us prepared. Just like when your child is running outside playing and your children um, are um, uh, distracted by games and uh, media, uh, friends, the phone. You may say, shut it down. Get off, get off the phone. You, you need, you're going to shut everything down because you want to get that child's attention on something. Something important that you may need to tell that child. So that's the same thing God is doing. He's letting us know that, hey, I'm on my way back. I need for y'all to get right. I need for y'all to sit down. I'm shutting down every activity that I can because I know that's what y'all love to do. But I need for y'all to sit down and I need your attention and I need you to focus. Focus on, is your soul right? Focus on your life. Is, is everything in order in your house if God was to knock on your door today? Now for the wicked, y'all better run or y'all better get it right. Get it right with God. Because God is angry and, 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 even, and even as I was laying in bed today, also it went on to play all night. First, I, I mean, I just tossed and turned throughout the night. Every time I woke up, the word was going. It was on all night. And Tina said that was Isaiah. But when I was uh, waking up out of my sleep, I would, I would doze back out. I would hear how he was talking to Jeremiah. Um, and then I'll doze back off and I wake up and he, and he was he was over in on um, Ezekiel and every and I said I set up Because I had to go use the bathroom in the night. I said wow God is angry if y'all go read Ezekiel and he, Jeremiah uh, Those chapters and that that book um, God is angry. He's angry at um, uh, false prophets and leaders that been out here misleading his people he, He's he's uh, uh, angry at the ones that, that that left his flock and went on to uh feed and eat for themselves. Um, he's talking about pastors in Ezekiel. He was very angry. Um, he's talking about people just basically hard-headed and stubborn, disobedient, not listening uh, to his word and everything that he has um, called for us to do where we wasn't doing it. So he's angry. So y'all want to know, uh, as the prayers went up, like what's going on? Y'all not looking at it spiritually because maybe you're not a spiritually minded person. But God is angry at this point in time and he's getting our attention. And even though he's an angry God, he does not stay angry for long. His wrath does not last long. But if you turn from your wicked ways, humble yourself and pray. Seek his face. He said, my people which are called by my name. Are you called by his name? Are you called? And I ain't got this on me because, like I said, it's one of them videos where it's, it's not about me. And plus, I'm looking a hot mess and I just didn't, you know. But I'm cleaning house. I'm sanitizing um, uh, my whole home, sanit making sure uh, me and the kids stay sanitized. But as I was cleaning and sanitizing everything, I thought to put on also uh, my post. Um, while you're sanitizing yourself and your home, is your heart, is your soul sanitized? Because just like that coronavirus is bad and it's killing everybody, spiritually, it's a sin-sick virus. It's a sin-sick virus spiritually. That when you leave here and your heart is not right with God and your soul is not right with God, eternal damnation is coming to you. Eternal, da eternal damnation. That means burning out uh, 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 through uh, fire, hell's fire, for eternal life. Now that's a virus I wouldn't want to have. Because one thing about it, if I catch the virus that's going around here, and I may die, and I'm not saying that, but God forbid that happens, because I'm protected from covered by the blood of Jesus. But if that was to happen, I'm more worried about my soul after I leave here. Make sure your soul is right, is what I'm trying to say. Get your soul right with God, because that's all that's going to matter in the end, y'all. When you shut your eyes and you wake up on the other side, is he going to say, depart from me, I never knew you, you worker of iniquity? Or is he going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant? So I don't need for y'all to panic today. There's no need to panic. God don't even want you to panic. God just saying simply, get it right. I'm just asking y'all to get it right. I just want your attention because y'all have been doing whatever y'all wanting to do. Partying, uh, uh, lying, cheating, gambling. Everything you've been wanting, sleeping under, under the sun. I mean, everything that ain't godly under the sun that y'all been doing. 
Just stop it, that's all. And turn from your wicked ways and repent. Repent, repent, repent. Ask God to forgive you. I ain't on here judging nobody. I'm telling y'all what, what's going on spiritually. What's in, the, what's in the word of God? What his word say? Turn from your wicked ways. Ain't no time for pointing the finger. Ain't no time for putting nobody down. Ain't no time for hatred and drama and all this stuff. Ain't gonna matter when God busts them clouds and y'all not ready. It's, it's not gonna matter, y'all. And so I just wanted to tell y'all that. I'm over here cooking up some cabbage. And uh, I'm stirring the cabbage in. Fry me some bacon first and I'm making some rice and gravy and pork chops. That's what I'm doing. And uh, I just thought I'd share that word with y'all. Um, because, you know, God is real. God is real. And I find no fault in him. God is good, okay? God is good. Ain't no, like I said, ain't no time to panic, but repent. The word ain't panic. The word is repent. Um, uh, two of my anointed sisters preached Sunday at church. Faith over fear. Come on now. Faith is something of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. What it is is, uh, faith is, um, I'm believing in, in what I want, what I want to see. I don't see it, but I believe I'm going to see it. Put it like that. And this is not going to last, y'all. And God is sweeping the streets, okay? Because he's angry. He's angry. And, uh, and, this, and this ain't but a, but a moment. Ain't but a moment. Just read Isaiah 26 and 20. And as a matter of fact, just go on here and read that whole uh, uh, entire chapter. And it's going to help you. It's going to bless you. And, and sometimes, um, uh, let me use this. If I could use this. Um, with our children, well, I, I know when I was little, I don't know how many of y'all done did it, but uh, we would uh, play with fire, you know, lighting matches and stuff. And I remember uh, one time uh, my mother had grabbed my hand and she, you know, kind of scared me with the, uh, you know, she lit the match and said, you want to, what, what if you get burned? You want to get burned? She didn't, she didn't burn me, but I was hollering because I thought that she was, and she was shaking me trying to get my attention. She was saying, see, now you scared of, if I put this flame on your finger, this match, whatever. But what happens if you was to play with this uh, match and, and whatever, and you strike a fire and cause a big fire? See, she was scaring me into order, if I could say it that way. She was scaring me into don't ever do that again because this can happen. Y'all keep playing with fire, y'all gonna get burnt. That's all I got to say. And um, <laughs> don't be afraid, just pray. Prayer changes things. Um, God is in control. Everybody like, what's going on? He the one sweeping through here. He tired of all of this. Everybody doing their own thing, saying what they want to say. He waking you up every morning, closing you on your right mind, blessing you. Mercy and grace every day. And everybody just doing their own thing. And he like, no, I'm tired of this. Sit still. Don't move. But I need for y'all to repent. And turn from your wicked ways. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Also, if y'all ain't even, none of y'all, the, the, the backsliders, he gonna call them home. He's, he's drawing our backsliders. Um, but the ones that are, he's married to the backslider. That's what the scriptures say. But the ones that don't know Christ, you repent, as Acts 238 say, and repent and turn from your sins. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Walk upright. The number one commandment, he wants us to love one another. Love God as you love yourself and then love one another. Love him and love each other. It's love, y'all. It's love that draws. It's not hate. Y'all be blessed and be covered. Be safe. In the name of Jesus. So I'm smothering my pork chops. This is my homemade gravy. I probably should have showed y'all how to make it, but I showed y'all before how I make it. Yeah, no. Well, I, I'll do a video, another video. I was just doing a quarantine meal for y'all while we up in the house showing y'all what we doing. Yeah, I know.
And the kids wanted me to smother their pork chops in. He used to have them fried, but I'm just gonna put them over on there. And it'll sink on down up in there. You know, just let them lay there. You know, just let them lay there. And they be all right. And now we're done. We got our cabbage over here. Our rice. Tina won the stove top, y'all. So there it is. Bam. And there it is. Okay, so love bugs and love muffins. This is the finishing touch. Put my rice and gravy and my cabbage and my stuffing that Tina wanted. And uh, my uh, pork chop. This is my quarantine meal, y'all, up in the house, but make it do what it do. Where that hot sauce at, boo? Grab that hot sauce, boo. Want oh. y'all to be encouraged? <clears throat> Let me make my play. Let me, y'all, y'all, y'all be encouraged. And um, like I said, it's one of these videos where I'm just toe up from the flow up, y'all. I started upstairs cleaning. I lights all everything. I mean, oh. I cleaned everything. So yeah, I know. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.